Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. It's a me. Hola. That sucked. Um, today we will be learning a bit about bees. The bugs that look adorable. They're nice and fuzzy. Look terrifying up close, but are actually very important for the environment. No, like seriously, without bees, we'd be dead. In the next four years, like we get four years to live, but still. But yeah, you get the idea. In this video, um, we will be saying why bees are misunderstood, why we should help them, and why well, bees help us. So, without further ado, let's go. Reason 1. Bees help food and flowers grow. How bees help food and flowers grow is that when a bee goes up to a flower, you might think, oh, it's just collecting, collecting nectar for honey or something like that. But that actually isn't the case. You see, when a bee goes up to a flower, yes, it is collecting nectar, but it is also collecting pollen. Pollen is something that is on top of flowers. And when a bee flies onto a flower, this pollen sticks to them. And then when a bee goes to another flower... The pollen goes on to that flower, and then that flower will grow. This thing is called pollinating, and as you can tell, if all bees died, the bees wouldn't be able to pollinate, and there would be no plants and no food around. Reason 2. You really shouldn't be afraid of bees. A lot of kids think that bees are these big, scary bugs that if... You even go near one of them, they'll sting you, but no, um, most of the time the only reason bees actually sting you is if you're is if trying, you're to, trying hurt to hurt them, or like, or like, um, um they think they you're, think trying, you're to trying to, hurt, to them. hurt them. But overall, bees mean no harm to humans, If even if you get stung, like, it will just be a bit of a pinch, um, it might swell a little, but other than that, you should be fine, and it should heal, like, in a week, probably. I don't know. I've never been stung before. But, like, if you get, like, if you have an allergic reaction to bees, yeah, you should probably go to the doctor. Reason three. Bees are really good at flying. Bees are absolutely amazing at flying and can fly up to 25 kilometers an hour and beat their wings 200 times per second. This actually isn't surprising since bees are the smartest insects in the world and also the strongest insects in the world. But they are not the fastest since the dragonfly is the fastest insect. Number 4. Different Types of Bees before I begin, um, if you're wondering why I named it number four instead of reason four, um, it's because when I first was making this, I was thinking more of saying stuff like why bees are helpful and misunderstood, but now I'm more doing more facts, so reason isn't really the right word to describe it, so that's why. Now I can begin. So you may think that there is only one type of bee, but there are actually, um, way more than one. Alright guys, it's time for the epic edit, so you can get to know the types of bees. Disclaimer, this part of the video is a joke. Okay, uh, that was kind of weird, but, um, yeah, now I'm actually going to explain instead of just using that weird video. But anyways, the first bee we're going to be discussing is the bumblebee. You can tell a bumblebee is a bumblebee by looking at its fur. If it looks fuzzy, poofy, or just fluffy in general, then it most likely is a bumblebee. Bumblebees pollinate and they also make honey to survive in the winter. They also rarely sting humans. The next bee we are going to be talking about is the honeybee. As you can tell by the name, honeybees collect pollen and make honey. Also, have you ever heard someone saying that bees die when they sting you? This is half percent true. 
Since honeybees are the only type of bee that die when they sting you, since their stinger is barbed, so when they sting you, their stinger comes out, and um, the stinger is actually one of the bee's organs. So, uh, yeah, then the honeybee dies. R.I.P. honeybee. And the final bee we are going to be talking about is the solitary bee. Solitary bees also do not make honey and do not go in colonies or hives. Another fun fact about solitary bees is that they outnumber all other bees at pollinating. Number five, different groups of bees. Since I don't want to make another cringe edit again, I will make an animation of all of the groups of bees. So, um, yeah, so I can protect your eyes. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, um, before I start the one for drone bees, it's animated badly because I didn't want to animate it detailed, um, because the, um, role of a drone bee, I did not really want to animate properly, so that's the reason. <laughs> Um, okay, hopefully, um, none of you are highly traumatized after the last part. Yeah, just forget that last part. I'm begging on my hands and knees. Pretend you never saw that. You ain't seen nothing. But yeah, as you can tell, a, worker's bee, a worker bee's job is to collect resources for the hive, such as flowers, nectar, honey, all of that stuff. A drone's role is to uh, mate with the queen. I think you get why I didn't want to animate that now. And the... What was... Oh, I forgot the name. Uh, uh, queen! Queen bee! <laughs> the queen bean's... Queen, queen bee's role... Um, well, they're the queen, so, um, they get the baby. They, they have the baby. Okay, well, my phone is starting to run out of storage, so I will see you all in the next video. Bye!